I thought that was the end. I, I thought I bought the farm. Christmas 2006. When Bob Urbanski should have been spending time with his family, he was rushed to the hospital, and after several days of testing, he was diagnosed with a malignant condition known as myelodysplastic syndromes, MDS. At the hospital, he had to endure potent chemotherapy and the risks and burdens of blood transfusions as often as twice every month. It's a good five or six hours that you're at the hospital at least. Bob, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. But in January, at the Moffitt Cancer Center, he was put on a drug called Videza. It changed his life. The last transfusion I had was uh, 12, 14 weeks ago. Now a study in the medical journal Lancet confirms Videza allows many patients to live free of blood transfusions. And Videza, also known by its chemical name azacitidine, is the first and only drug recognized by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration to significantly extend survival for patients with higher risk MDS. Dr. Lewis Silverman is senior study author. We were pleasantly surprised to see that the effect was as significant as it was. The survival was increased by 74% for those treated with azacitidine compared to uh, the control treatments. And what's especially exciting is Videza is believed to be the first drug that works by a newly understood mechanism of action based on the emerging science of epigenetics, chemical changes that control the activity of genes. Cancers tend to turn off genes and treatments like Videza can do the opposite. They can turn them back on. Videza is available only by prescription. It is not for use in patients with liver impairment. Women are advised not to use it if they're pregnant or nursing. And men are advised not to father children while on Videza. Hey, Chris, this is Bob at Crumpton Walling Supply. But what matters most to Bob and his family is that he's been able to go back to work and lead a normal life. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a light. Now, long after that fateful Christmas, the Urbanski family has new home. I'm Steve Gendel reporting.